guys, and respect for me, Anthony. Today I'll be reading a sweet New Year for Red, book number 41. I hope you guys enjoyed this book. If you did, like and subscribe. This is going to be the last book before the New Year, so I hope you enjoy it. My eyes open wide on an early morning. It smells like New Year. Lunar New Year is almost here. I, every year I sit and watch everyone crowded around the butcher block, hoping and hoping that I will get to help make pineapple cakes. You're still too little, Gren, Mama always says. But a whole inch since last Lunar New Year. No, two inches. Will I finally will I get to help? Finally, bright oranges, tangerines, and plume blows bounce together while the sprinkle of his kumquats shiny and tiny. Oh, Papa, I ask. I'm afraid you're still too little, Ren. Out we scramble to find our final ingredients for tomorrow's feast. A fresh silver sea bass is Papa's favorite. With splashes of soy and silvers of scallions, I poke the fish's glassy scales as it flips and squeaks into a bag. Green garlic shives and sharp spicy ginger for Mama's famous dumplings. One day she'll pass on her recipe to me, and I'll keep it a secret, of course. One plea after another, Mama's extra fingers fold dumplings in a whirl. She and Uncle Jen race to see who can fold the fastest, like they did when they were kids. Rows and rows of dumplings fill up our table, while mixing, rolling, filling, folding, and a foggy steam. Watching and waiting, I smell that they're done. Can I help? You're still too in. We're in a big hurry. Bubbling hot water are the longest noodles Auntie Willie could find to eat for a long, long life. She's careful not to break the endless strings. Can I help stir? You're still too little, Ren. It's too hot, Auntie Willie says. Genie and Quayla, everyone. Charlie, who would always bring me taro milk tea when he picked me up from Sunday violin lessons. Charlie, who always had a wide pot of congee simmering on the stove the night's mama and baba had to work late. Charlie, my one-of-a-kind brother. I want to show Charlie that I'm a good cook, but the pineapples keep pricking my fingers. Plop! The butter slips out of the wrapper onto our sticky lemon floor. Clouds of flour fly into the air. Laughing, he cleans up the mess with me, mashing butter and flour together. Charlie shows me how to roll out the dough, not too thick, not too thin. Together, we make it just right. That's it, May May. I know that delicious smell. Auntie Amy exclaims. Then be gentle when you push the dough into the molds. Look, Mama. Bren, you're finally old enough to help make pineapple cakes. Mama beams. Happy pineapple cake baking. Their golden crust and rich pineapple jams smelling like butter and sweet thyme together. I'm hungry, says Julius. I'm hungrier, Marine pipes up. No one will notice if you take one or three. Our tray of togetherness, crowded with candies, lotus root, and winter melon for Auntie Amy and Uncle Jan, drying kumquats for Charlie, lively and tart. My twin cousins, Julius and Marin, gulp down one sugary coconut slice after another. A handful of rookie candy for me, so many wishes for a sweet year. Envelopes for everyone. The sky glowing red with lanterns, firecrackers, dancing, snapping, and cracking. My favorite part of the new year. Everyone is here, together. Oh.
all cakes are for eating, sharing, celebrating, and starting and starting this sweet new year with each other, thankful for each other. Our stomachs are full and happy, like our hearts. You guys enjoy this book. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.